Oh, sorry, everybody. I was having technical issues behind the scenes, but welcome to Little John's Yarns. Thank you for joining me on my very fourth live stream. Like I said, sorry, I'm just a couple minutes late. Uh, but before we start today's topic, I want you to make sure I want you to look down to the bottom of your screen. You'll see a little share button and make sure you share this link on all your social media sites, just in case anybody wants to stop by and share in our conversation. And as usual, we're going to do a technical check to make sure the visuals and audio is OK, because last week the audio was horrible. So I thought I had my good microphone hooked up and it wasn't. So apparently that one's broken. So I'm using my webcam microphone. So let me know if this sounds OK. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'll be checking into the chat box down to the right to see who's all here. So I'm doing this all by myself. So bear with me. Hey, I see Mimi. Hi, Denise. Hi, Kathleen and Tanya Walker. How y'all doing? Thanks for joining me. Hey, Cheryl. OK, I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. Oh, I'm so happy because last week the audio was really, really muffled and I want you guys to hear what's going on this week. Well, uh, last week, you know, it was my Valentine's Day weekend. Me and my husband were supposed to go out, but my son got sick. So therefore, we had to cancel our Valentine's Day weekend. And after taking care of my son, I ended up coming down with the flu and I was down last week. You know, I'm finally starting to feel better. So Thank goodness. So I'm able to talk about what's going on today. Uh, the topic is going to be crochet pain and uh, management and injury prevention. Because as crocheters, we're always using our hand and we're always pushing ourselves just a little bit too much. But, but oh, we have a super chat. Thank you. Let's see who saves the super chat. Uh, Tamina Green, thank you so much. I appreciate your super chat. What that is, that's somebody who donates to help support my channel. And when they do, this cool little disco light pops on in the background. So we know my technical skills work. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. We'll hop right back what we were talking to. But I want to tell you about our creator spotlight that we're having today. Let me see. Let me bring them up. This is by Leo Jr. Morris Poynton. He is a talented crochet artist. He's starting to create his own patterns. I guess he's venturing into selling his work. Um, I like to support crochet artists who are um, on the up and coming because I know how hard it is to step into this game. So I hope by doing this creator spotlights, you get to recognize new artists. So make sure you guys check him out. I'm going to leave all his information down in the description box below. All right, and thank you so much, Leo. You are such a great talent. And I wish you luck in all your future ventures. Okay, let's hop into it. The crochet pain. I've been crocheting pretty much 30 years all my life. I don't remember not crocheting, and I never had any true issues. Until last year, I was creating several sweater patterns. And I did this all within a month. It was four patterns. I don't know why I gave myself such a crazy deadline to do a pattern and a sweater and film a week, but I was working my hands too hard. And by the very end of that month, my hands began to cramp up and they were like frozen in a paw shape. I'm like, oh my goodness, maybe I'll just give my hands a day rest. I rested my hands for a day, a two days a week, and my hands still felt horrible. So I went to the doctor. The doctor said I didn't have carpal tunnel and I don't have arthritis, knock on wood, but I probably um, sprained something in my hand and I had inflammation. And he said, you know what? All you have to do is rest and take a break. Hold on, let me, when I talk so much, my mouth gets a little bit dry. Okay, all we have to do is rest and take a break. But this is my money maker. I take a break, I lose money. So I never want to put myself in a, if, situation like this again so i decided to bring up my own routine to keep myself safe <laughs> so i'm going to give you six uh, tips or things that i do to help keep my body safe and my hands protected we're going to be talking about taking breaks wrist brace and like hand compression gloves uh posture correctors seat cushions and ergonomic crochet hooks i never know if i say that correctly Argon ergonomic Give me a thumbs up if it's ergonomic crochet hook. Did I say that correctly? Let me know if that's all right. 
And at the very end of the video, we're all going to um, take a break, sit back, and we're going to do some stretching together. I guess I should have turned off my phone. Hey, daughter. Guess what? I'm on a live stream. Can I call you back? Love you. <laughs> Bye. I guess I should put my uh, phone on airplane mode. All right, um, what was I talking about? And at the very end of the video, we're going to do some stretching together to, if anybody has any pain so we can work our way through it together. But quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I am not a professional. If you truly have any pains, please make sure you go see a doctor first. So this is just what I do to make myself feel better where I don't have to depend on um, pain medication to do this. Let me check down in the uh, chat box to see what's going on in there. Hello, I'm really having a ball making the house slippers. Oh, I love those slippers too. They're always nice and cushiony. Wow, that dress was gorgeous. Yes, Leo, he is a talented crochet artist. Okay, <laughs> Jade, hi mom. Hi Jada, thanks for calling me. <laughs> All right, we'll hop back into the live stream. All right, we're gonna talk about taking breaks. As crocheters, we're always pushing for that one more row, one more row. I don't know why we just can't stop in the middle of a row when we first feel the pain. We just seem to like push our way through it. But our bodies are smart. We're intelligent. It sends us signals to stop. If your hand hurts, stop. Don't keep going. Actually, you should take a break before your hand even hurts. Every so many rows, take a 10 minute break, stretch your hands. I know you're probably thinking, Alicia, um, I crochet, this is my business. I have so many orders to do. But if I would have took a 10 minute break when I was doing all those sweaters a couple months ago, I wouldn't have been down for weeks. You know what, if you have to push your orders, push your orders. When I used to um, sell my own um, custom orders, I would always tell somebody two weeks, even if it was a hat. A hat, I would crochet a hat in a day, but if I tell them a two week time window, I have more than enough time to fix anything. So if a pain comes up, I can rest myself. So make sure you do that. Treat your hands like they're kings. Take them to spas, you know what I mean? When you're done crocheting, soak your hands. I like to soak my hands with lavender and eucalyptus oil mixed in some warm water. Like the um, lavender, of course, is very calming. And the eucalyptus oil is um, has a nice cooling sensation, almost like an icy hot. And you can also make a rub out of that by mixing the lavender oil, the eucalyptus oil mixed with a little bit of um, coconut oil. It makes for a wonderful rub for your hands. All right. Next, we are going to talk about wrist brace. I don't have my wrist brace with me right now. It's probably lost up in my bedroom somewhere. But a wrist brace is perfect for people who have like carpal tunnel or anybody who has like a repetitive job, like somebody who stalks things or works in an office or ladies or gentlemen like us who enjoy crocheting. People with carpal tunnel, due to the bending of their wrist so much, they put pressure on their medial nerve which leads to pain and numbness in the tips of your fingers. A wrist brace will put your wrist in a neutral position so you won't get that inflammation and that pressure on your medial nerve. Um, I don't enjoy using the uh, wrist brace while I'm crocheting. I find it uncomfortable, even though they say wear it during your most triggering activities. I actually put my wrist brace on after I'm done crocheting or when I go to sleep. I don't know if it's completely non-related crochet um, issue. But when I wake up in the morning, my wrist tends to hurt. Maybe I'm sleeping on my wrist in the wrong position, but using the wrist brace, I guess puts my wrist in that neutral position so it's not bent all over the place. Another great thing to crochet, this is what I use while I'm crocheting, is a compression glove. I'm gonna leave all the links down for these items that I'm listing in the description box below. But the compression glove is like a Ted hose. I don't know if you ever heard of that before or compression stockings. Those help to reduce the inflammation in your um, limbs. And I find when I feel this, my hand feels very comfortable. It's tight on my hand, but not it doesn't restrict any blood flow. And I can find myself crocheting a little bit longer. But still, don't forget to take a break while you're doing these. Definitely recommend it. Okay, next, we are going to talk about a posture corrector. 
Okay, I name this term myself. It's, I call it the crochet slouch. This is what I do while I crochet. I find myself leaning over as if placing my forehead into my stitches. Maybe in my mind, I feel like I'm crocheting better, but that bad posture will lead to horrible back pain. What a posture corrector is, it's just straps that are wrapped around your shoulder that gently pull your shoulders back. It reminds you to sit up straight. I mean, you can wear this outside of crocheting. I don't recommend wearing them all day. Maybe start something simple, like 10 minutes of wearing this um, brace on your back. But be forewarned, if you do have bad posture, this will be extremely uncomfortable. I don't know, do you guys have any tips or what you guys do to help work through your crochet pain? Let's see. Cheryl, mom, life of 12. I mean, mom, my life of, your Cheryl, your name's hard to say. Okay, my life as a mom of 12 children. That's not hard. I just had a tongue twister. I had to slow it down because my hands were in pain. Yes. Leslie, great advice. I love your work. Truly inspiring. Thank you very much. Hey, Pamela, how you doing? All right, so the next one we're going to talk about, this one um, is my favorite one. I actually use it all the time. Oh, excuse me, let me lean over. Let me get the camera to adjust in. It's my seat cushion. It's what I put my booty on. These, I definitely recommend for anybody who needs these. I actually have a video I made on this a year ago. The video is a little bit cringeworthy. It's when I very first started on YouTube, but the information is great. But I definitely recommend getting yourself a great seat cushion. Because as crocheters, uh, this is a sitting hobby. What we do, we sit on our butts for hours and sometimes we don't even realize it. And human beings, we're not meant to sit for long periods of times. It's the more we sit, the more we slouch, the more we wiggle and try to get into that perfect position. And sitting on hard chairs will leave pains in your butt and pains in your back. It can be very uncomfortable. And what the seat cushion does, let me pick it up again, sorry. See how the, uh, here we go, Whoop, pop it in. The seat cushion has like a cutout that relieves pressure on your tailbone while you're sitting. And this particular one I have, this little bump you see on the back, it kind of, that bump gives you a gentle reminder to sit up slightly and it's contoured for your legs. You ever notice when you sit for too long, your legs might become numb? It's because you're having poor circulation in your legs. According to what I uh, read about seat cushions, the seat cushions help with the contour, the circulation move through your legs more freely. So definitely recommend these to sit on. The next one we are going to talk about are the ergonomic crochet hooks. I have a couple over here. As you'll notice with these crochet hooks, they have big fat bottoms, like so. And there's different type of hooks. This one has a more contoured shape. These ones are especially great for people who suffer from hand pain, people who suffer from arthritis, tendonitis, repetitive stress injuries, or any problems that can inhibit your crocheting. So what these are, I don't, let me find a regular crochet hook. When you crochet with a thinner uh, crochet hook, your hand is wrapped around a hook extremely tight. As you can see, my pinky is like tight against the palm of my hand. That squeezing puts a lot of tension, well, particularly for me, specifically for me, right here around the back of my hand. And sometimes I'll get sharp pains there and down this part of my hand. When you're using um, a crochet hook like this, the handle is much thicker. So therefore, as you can see, my pinky doesn't go flush. None of my fingers go flush actually against the uh, palm of my hand. It creates a looser grip, which doesn't put all that pressure on these parts of your hand. Let me show you the Addy swing hook. People have a love-hate relationship with these. I actually made a uh, video on this. Of course, I'll leave all the information down in the description box below about this hook. But there's a particular way you have to hold this. It's nice because it shapes to the shape of your hand. But some people, it's just hard to get a grip on one of these. But I recommend you actually going out, trying out several different crochet hooks to each your own. Find out which one works for you. Oh, 
I guess we're at the very end. We're going to do the fun part. We're all going to take a step back. You can still remain seated where you are. We're going to do some stretching together. I'm going to move the camera back just a little bit so we can all get our arms in stretching on. All right, let me move this camera over a little bit. Let's see if you guys can see my hands. Yep. Oh, well, I'm looking over here. What's going on in the chat box? Okay, Tanya Walker, I take many breaks when I have a lot of crocheting to do. Love your tips. I push through the pain sometimes. Hand stretches do work. Please don't push through the pain because your body is smarter than your mind. Listen to it. I know you have a lot of orders and I do it all the time, but we just got to work our way through it. Relax your hands, soak your hands when you're done doing all your work. Teresa McGavin, yeah, my thumb is in that position and it's locked due to crocheting so much that I don't know how to fix it. All right, we're going to do some stretches. Maybe this helps. Uh, clover hooks, thanks A. Hardy. Those are great recommendations. All right, to start, we're going to put our hands just out in regular circles like so, a little bit below your shoulders. Let me see if I can get my camera just down a little bit. Okay, a little bit below our shoulders. And we're just going to start just gently rolling your wrist in circles. This is going to be our warm up because we just don't want to go into deep stretching and start pulling things. Remember, I'm not a doctor. This is just like what I do. <laughs> okay, and after our hands are done in the circles, we're just going to go up and down. You're going to do this five to ten times. This is just a nice, gentle warm up. I hope everybody's enjoying this and working with me. All right, now that we have that, if you're not used to working out, your shoulders can become a little bit whoo, so shake it out. And we're gonna put our hands back out again with our palms up. And we're just gonna go down and up. We're gonna feel the stretch in this part of your arm. Let me pull my sleeves down. I have weird elbows. <laughs> down and up. We're gonna do that five to 10 times. I think I'll probably make a shorter video of this, so if you guys ever want to follow along to a stretch, you won't have to look through this whole live stream. Now shake your arms out, and we're going to deepen that stretch just a little bit. Place one arm out, one arm out, grab your palm, and start pulling back just a little bit. Don't pull too hard to it hurts, just gently. You'll feel that stretch in this part of your arm. Do that five to ten times. And then you're going to switch off to the other side. Don't pull on your fingertips like this. Take the uh, meat of your palm and pull back gently. And you'll feel that stretch nice in your arm. <sighs> okay, we're going to shake that out. Now we're going to put the palms down facing you. And just like they're going to pat towards your belly. This is a gentle stretch. Hey, Vanessa Stewart, how you doing? <laughs> now we're going to intensify that. Just like before, put your arm out, take the meat of the palm of your hand, and start pulling in gently. You can work your shoulders into it, like stretch your neck as you feel through your stretches. I feel like I should have some yoga music in the background. <laughs> Switch to your other hand and just pull in a little bit. Hey, Vicki, she said great stretches, thank you. Occupational therapy taught her this. All right, stretch that out. Next, put your hand up, let me, like you're about to make a number four and wrap your fingers around it. We're making a fist with both hands. And this is gonna stretch this area right here. This is where I feel most of my stress it's going to stretch that out really nicely and this part right here so make that fist put your hands out and gently stretch down oh yep i feel that one good do that five to ten times i can actually do that a little bit more that's nice <laughs> now we're going to intensify that stretch just like we did with the other parts put one hand out Remember, um, wrap your thumb tightly, your fingers tightly around your thumb, and just feel that stretch. Don't push too hard. Mm 
Shake it out. Let's do the other one. I feel like I'm in a workout video. Valerie, SoCal, good morning. It's good afternoon for me. <laughs> okay, let me shake that out. Next, so let me turn a little bit back this way. I kind of feel it up here in my shoulders too. It feels good. Hope Are you guys starting to feel a little bit better now, a little stretched out? I want you to put your hand in like the uh, Egyptian position, you know, praying hands. So we're just going to push a little bit this way. Push this way. Do this about five times. You feel that good stretch? Next, now when you push, I want you to lean your hand. Then push. We got another super chat. Thank you so much. Hey, Classy Kim. Oh, I love you so much. I, and thank you for all your great information that you've given me over the past couple weeks. You have been a true lifesaver in everything I've done so far lately. Thank you so much. Let me give another good push. Oh, that feels good. And shake it out. Let me hit the light. Thank you so much again, Kim. All right. So those are some of the stretches that I've enjoyed. I hope you guys all feel relaxed. My arms feel good. I feel like I can, I don't know, fly off. So let me see in the comment box. What do you guys think about these stretches and how do you feel right now? Beverly Simmons. Hello from Newfoundland, Canada. Hello. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. Man. Sorry about that. It's Actually, in Pennsylvania, we've been having some crazy weather lately. It's been 60 degrees, and it's been three inches of snow. Back and forth, it's been straight. Right now, it's rainy. I'm, I'm ready for spring. Actually, I always love winter because I love crocheting, but it's just mucky outside. It's wet and muddy. It's not beautiful, so ugh. Okay, let's see if I can pronounce your name. Omnesia? No. It's Miss Owens. I cannot pr pronounce your name. I feel so bad, but thank you. She said, very good. Mimi D, she said, I love the exercise. All right, negative 26 degrees. Ooh, my, Beverly, that sounds horribly cold. 63 in Texas. No, I, I can do that. That feels good. In Pennsylvania, it is not that warm. Tanya Walker, I feel much better in my wrist and shoulders. Thank you so much for these tips. You're welcome. I feel so good right now. I recommend doing some stretches daily, at least. And like I said, take breaks. Hopefully all of these like crochet tips helped you out. So I want to scroll through the chats to see if I missed anything. So don't mind me. Because I'm doing these all myself. I think one day I'm going to have my daughter help me on the uh, chat sections. I was a little bit embarrassed at first to have me too much help because I've never done lives before, but it's starting to get a little bit easier. Okay, Diane, great stretches. I find my knuckles are tight when I can't bend them during the night, that I have actually wiggled them during the night just to bend them. Love these. Thank you. Oh, that sounds, yeah, you need to give your hands some breaks too. Maybe give them some good um, rest, stretches, rubs. I try to get my husband to rub my hands, but sometimes, you know, we're not a newlywed couple, so massages don't come as easily as they used to. But he does give me crochet, um, not crochet, um, hand massages sometimes to help release the pressure because doing it myself even puts stress on the other hand. That's rubbing the other hand. Okay, let's see. Yolanda, where can I get a good set of ergonomic crochet hooks? Well, uh, you can get them on Amazon. I get everything on Amazon. You can get them in your local uh, big box yarn store like Joann's, uh, Hobby Lobby, whatever your craft store it are. Or you can actually even make your own. I've seen people take, a, I don't know where I'll put my regular skinny crochet hook, but I've seen them put little gummy bands wrapped all the way around them. But if you want some cool, fancy ones, I suggest you go on Etsy and support, you know, your own handmade sisters and brothers on Etsy and buy some things from there. All right. Uh, 
I think I pretty much got through everything. So, I, nope, here we go. My scroll down. I'm going to tell you what we're going to be working on next week. One of our new crochet patterns. Where'd I put my phone? I wish I had a, well, I got the hat behind me. It's a hat with a flip brim. Somebody on Facebook requested me to make this hat. I'm gonna, I don't have her name on me right now, but in the video, I'm gonna put the name of the lady who requested this hat. She wanted a puff stitch hat. The brim that she showed me, I was unable to do, so I, this brim was inspired by another brim that I've seen online. It's just a simple single crochet flip stitch brim. All you do is create back and forth even rows of single crochet and twist it up at the end. Let's see if I can get a better, because it's all bent up on a hat. Uh, we're going to be looking on my phone for a second. Let's see. Here we go. Are you guys able to see the hat? This is when it's a modeled, cute little flip hat. No particular yarn. All I used was a Red Heart Super Saver yarn. So I used about one and a quarter skein of yarn. So if you guys want to go out, prepare, or dig in your stash or whatever so you can get ready for the tutorial, I'll probably drop that on maybe tomorrow or Monday. I'm not sure. But gather all your material for that. Hmm. Unmi, hello from New Mexico. Love your channel and love to crochet. Oh, I'm driving. Did you cover thumb numbness? Yes, uh, the thumb numbness, you probably have carpal tunnel. Um, if you guys just popped onto the video, carpal tunnel, that's usually when you put pressure on your medial nerves, which leaves the numbness in the tip of your fingers and thumbs. And you do a particular stress where you put your thumbs into your hand and push your fist forward to stretch that out here and then the palm in your hand. Or you can also put your hand out like this and bring your thumb towards your pinky and squeeze slightly. That helps stretch out that area in your thumb. But the numbness, you probably have carpal tunnel. Maybe think about wearing wrist brace more often to take um, the pressure off your nerve to keep your wrist in that neutral position. Okay. Hello from Germany. Hello. Thank you for joining me. This is amazing. I never imagined so many people would love to enjoy to watch my live streams. I appreciate you all coming out and do not donating, but giving me your time and wanting to learn information from me. So I'm just pretty, probably pretty much going to wrap this up. I'm not going to make this very long, but if you guys would like after the replay comment, let me know if you want me to make a short five minute stretching video so you don't have to follow along to this long uh, live stream and let me know. All right. So we're going to wrap up. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the very next tutorial on this crochet hat. Hopefully be dropping it Sunday or Monday and that's pretty much it. I need to learn how to wrap up these live streams more smoothly, but <laughs> see you guys later.